the Caspian. This was the first deep water oil project in the world. Engineering on a heroic scale, it was built by the Soviets, who called it Oily Rocks, the Caspian. The Caspian contains some of the largest untapped energy reserves on the planet. Estimates go as high as 200 billion barrels of oil. Today, everyone wants a piece of the Caspian. An energy corridor, a pipeline, protected by strong countries and international law, was now considered essential for our independence. Azerbaijan and BP would eventually call it the BTC pipeline, because on its 1100 mile journey through Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey, it will link the cities of Baku, Tbilisi and Jehan. On September the 20th, 1994, a consortium including BP, Amoco and Penzoil signed the deal with the Azerbaijan government BP would go on to acquire a majority stake in Azerbaijan's oil. Following a coup, BP found itself in business with a new president. The BTC pipeline is being built to ensure that Western oil supplies will no longer depend on the violent vicissitudes of the Middle East. In a few years' time, this oil will be about a quarter of all the new energy source, energy demand in the world. The primary purpose is to modernize the Georgian army, and it does uh, have a backup role, I would say, with regard to pipeline security. The pipeline is a strategic asset for not only Georgia, but for all the countries that are involved, and one in which we have an interest. We would not want to be fully dependent on Middle Eastern oil and gas. We would not want to be dependent on Russian oil and gas. So this is another source, and therefore it's valuable. We would not want to be fully dependent on Middle Eastern oil and gas. We would not want to be dependent on Russian oil and gas. So this is another source, and therefore it's valuable. Iraqi oil revenues have now reached more than $11 billion since liberation. Following direct intervention from Washington, pipeline construction did resume in the valley. As we left the village, we were still being followed. This monitoring group was set up by the oil corporations. Whenever we go up to that village, people from that group always follow us there. Today, they effectively control Borjomi. What happens here? How it happens? Who comes to Borjomi and what people say? If anything is set out of line with their views, they have devised other methods of dealing with these people.